From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching OU Football with Jake Trotter. I'm Jenny Carlson. Our OU coverage is brought to you by Cable Motors. Jake, a new documentary is out that I think a lot of Sooner fans will be excited to see, interested to see. Marcus Dupree, uh, ESPN's 30 and 30, is looking at that. You've seen it. What do you think about the video? Well, I thought <clears throat> it was fantastic. I've seen a lot of the 30 for 30s, not all of them, but probably a third of them. And mm -hmm. this one was right up there with the Escobar, Escobar one, which I, to me, I thought was the best one uh, today. Um, it's really interesting. It's a two hour long. Most of these are one hour. So it just it really goes in depth with what happened with Marcus mm -hmm. and goes really into his hometown of Philadelphia, Mississippi, and, and explains the background and, and the backdrop for where Dupree grew up, and then just followed him up until now, you know, what he's doing now. And you'll never guess what he does for a living now. It's pretty amazing. Well, we've got some exclusive clips on News OK of, of the documentary, but what were you most surprised to learn about the situation? Because his story has been told and retold since he was a Sooner and then not a Sooner. Well, one of the, the most interesting things in the the, the, movie, the film, and I don't want to give too much away, but uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi was the town where uh, those three civil rights uh, workers went down there to try to register black voters and they were ultimately killed and there was a famous movie made uh, about them. And uh, what's interesting about that is the, there were some arrests that were made after that uh, ordeal, including, the, I believe, the sheriff of the town of Philadelphia, who went to jail for several years. Well, his son played high school ball with Marcus mm -hmm. and became really good friends and was actually uh, this kid's dad, the sheriff, who uh, helped Marcus out after football later on in life. So a very ironic and, and compelling uh, relationship there between a guy who was basically charged with uh, having some hand in the death of these these uh, civil rights activists, and then you know, and then Marcus Dupree, who uh, you know grew up in, in a town that was you know, 40 years ago, a really tough racially divided area, and uh, how Marcus kind of brought the town together. Hmm. I think there's a lot of Sooner fans that are divided on what they think about Marcus. Will people have a more favorable opinion of him after this, or or not, or what's sort of your feeling about well, Sooner fans? And well, how I think this? that he's a very sympathetic character. You know, I think he had people around him at the time uh, when he was at OU and when he was after who probably didn't have his best interest in, at heart. And you know, Marcus just wanted to to play football. And uh, you know, he's a, he's a very sensitive kid. You could tell he was sensitive when he was 17, 18, 19, and that's a tough situation to be put in. Uh, you know, to be in every newspaper and have every college coach calling you day after day. And I think it got to him at one point, the stress of being in the limelight. All right. Thanks, Jake. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.